my channel everybody i hope you guys are excited for today's episode of messy to minimal it is the fourth episode in the girls' room and the last episode in the girls' room so after today i can finally take all those boxes of things we're not keeping out of here and then we'll finally be done but we've made such huge progress in here we've done the closet we've done the changing table we did the organizer and today we're doing this half of the room, which is the dresser and mostly just the clothes. Everything else pretty much stays in here. Let me not speak too quickly before I look at everything. But everything stays in here as far as I'm aware. <laughs> so um, first things first, we did laundry on Sunday because that's our laundry day. And I didn't put anything away. I literally just put it all on the chair and on a pile right here on the floor. So that we can go through it together and sort it according to size, pull out things that are too small and don't fit anymore, and find a home for everything. We have a ton of space, so let's just go through the dresser really quick before we get started. So, I have these top two drawers, our socks for the girls. Those are pretty much staying the same. I might need to pull out some that don't fit Ella anymore, but other than that, I think everything fits. These all definitely fit Naomi because we're actually running low and she needs some socks. These are shorts and diaper covers, so we need to go through this because we're going to need our shorts here in a little bit. This is going to get warm. And then these are swimsuits and reusable swim diapers, so we need to go through this and see what fits and what does not. Then I have, these have labels on them, but what's in here is not necessarily what's on the label so these are 18 months onesies and rompers these are 18 months pants and then i have 2t and 24 month pants which are mostly jeans and 2t and 24 months onesies and shirts and then i have an empty drawer this is too small and then I have what will be pajamas. Those are training pants for when we're ready to potty train. I love to get those out of here and put them in one of these for later. Because we're not anywhere near that stage yet. But my mom got us all of those. So we don't have to buy any. So that is super awesome. First things first. So first things first. I think I want to tackle this pile of clothes on the floor over here. And... I think that's going to be um, a good starting point because I can make my piles of clothes that I'm expecting and then we can make piles for things that are in the drawers that we don't have out with the clean clothes yet. So without further ado, let us get right into it.
the natives getting restless out there, so I need to hurry up. <laughs> but my piles are socks that need to be paired, 18 months shirts, 18 months onesies, 18 months pants, 24 and 2T pants, 24 and 2T shirts, 24 and 2T onesies, and the 18 months and 24 months pajamas. And there's a couple 2T pajama sets in there as well, so... I think first things first, the stuff that's already in the drawers is kind of sorted, so I'm going to pull them out and add them into the piles that I have on the floor, and then kind of sort them as I do that so that I can make it easy on myself when I put them back. So, let's do it. That's all of the clothes <laughs> that we have. Okay, those are clean towels. I'll put those away later. They go out there. So my plan is for these top two to be the tops. And I think I'm going to do 18 months onesies and tops. 24 to 2T onesies and tops. And then I'll do the same for the bottoms. 18 months pants, uh, 20, 2T to 24 pants, and then this bottom is going to be half and half, 18 month shorts, 24 to 2T shorts. And we'll do those top drawers after we put all these clothes away first. I already put all the pajamas in there. So I don't fold things, so I don't really think you want to see after I put things in the drawers. So I'm just going to film me putting them in there, and then that's going to be good. <laughs> in here there's a few things that need still done these all need hung up these are winter coats 
as I decide which ones are going to fit next year, which ones aren't, so I can get rid of them. I'm not going to do that tonight. It's bedtime. I need to get my girls a bath and get them to sleep. So I think that's going to be all for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you've enjoyed coming along with me um, for the last four weeks working in here and getting the kids' room decluttered. Remember, decluttering is not a, is not a race. It's a marathon. <laughs> so you need to pace yourself. Make sure you're not overwhelming yourself and doing all the crazy things like dumping out entire closets and then feeling extremely overwhelmed by the amount of product that you own that's on the floor. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do what I did. Um, just small little things at a time and you will get there, I promise. So here's the plan. This was the last of... Um, <clears throat> this room so starting next week we're going to be in our room now I don't foresee needing a full four weeks in our room I actually think I can probably swing it in two to three just depending we'll see how we go we'll see how we go but I think I can swing it in two to three so I'm kind of thinking that once I'm done with the bedroom instead of jumping straight in to zone four I'm going to do a little bit of a mini um, of an in-between space to try to give us a little bit of a buffer. I also have that mini um, of me sorting the clothes and going through the DVDs. So that's going to be in there as a little bit of a buffer before we jump into Zone 4. Zone 4 will need definitely more than four weeks. <laughs> the bathroom I can probably do in one because it's a super small bathroom and then the little storage area I'm planning on not including in the bathroom even though it's a lot of our bathroom products I'm thinking it's going to be its own thing because it's probably going to take me one whole episode to do that section so I'm just going to make that a mini. I'm going to need three weeks to do the office and that's because Kevin has decided to downside, downsize his pop collection so I have to give him plenty of time to get that done first. So I'm not going to be able to declutter and do the things that I want to do in the office until we've gone through papers that we have in the filing cabinet, uh, loose mail, things like that that's just hanging around. We got to do that first. Um, and so that's going to take me some time. So I want to make sure I have plenty of buffer. And then once that's done, we are waiting on the weather to change. We may jump in the middle here. We'll see how it goes. But once the weather changes, Kevin and I are planning to attack the garage <laughs> and go through it. We've already started a big pile out there for the yard sale. Um, which is where everything I've pulled out is probably going to end up if I don't decide to save it. I'm not going to donate anything until the end of the yard sale because we have a big financial goal we're saving for. So we really want to um, do well at our yard sale. Our community has these huge sales in, at the beginning of August. So I'm getting all of our things ready and we're planning and preparing for the big sales. So excited. That will probably be a vlog later this summer. So that'll be fun. <laughs> But I wanted to go ahead and let you guys know what the plan was for the next few times and the next few Messy to Minimals, the next few weeks as messy to, with Messy to Minimal. But let me know in the comments down below what you guys were working on while joining me today. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me sort baby clothes, which is like 90% of my day on laundry day. <laughs> Tomorrow is laundry day, so there will be more clothes to go in this dresser as if it couldn't be full enough already <laughs> um so i hope you guys like this and if you are excited about the next messy to minimal give this one a thumbs up and let me know what you're most excited about and i will see you all very very soon Bye.